AMD fans. Today we're looking at the new driver. 20.9.1 comes fresh to us with the Radeon software from the Adrenaline edition. We are looking at a brand new optional that hopefully should improve some FPS. But is Windows playing a roadblock? Let us find out. We'll be looking at some patch notes, some benchmarks. My name is Matt here at the MacGyver 7 channel and today we're going to be looking at some tech related news. Looking at what's highlighted right over here, we see a few different things. To zoom in and actually see what's going down for as far as the more finite details, we're going to be looking at the black screens for the TDR for the 5000 series when changing the metrics overlay with tools screens in the web browser active. Looking at project cars, experiencing the performance issues with the Radeon software and the metrics also overlay enabled. Looking at 1603 and 195, looking at those errors that come down to the Ryzen 5 and 3 mobile processors affecting the graphics system configuration on top of the Vega graphics. On the display, the power cycling the display of the FreeSync is enabled, may cause some display to remain black until the system is rebooted or the display port is plugged. Basically, you have to plug it in and out where it'll re-wake up that. That's what basically it's telling you. The flickering screens for as far as Borderlands also have been fixed with the location with the Radeon Boost enabled. They noticed that. It worked really good with uh, Gearbox in order to fix that up. Decoding some of the HEVC content in the AMF decoder and results into some corrupt clips in the playbacks. Performance in the tuning for as far as the profile sometimes not being applied inside of the say profile for the fans and that has happened to me many of times among a lot of people even gaming nexus said that once or twice looking at the radeon software for as far as the sometimes may crash when exiting and performing a game scan in the tab also looking at the random colors and the corruptions in the portions of the surface was matchmaking in the counter strike for global offensive noticing the portions of the missing icons or the text in the hotkeys are used in the invoking portions of the radeon software stream so basically use obs they are still fixing a lot of these things and all these are fixed issues but we will be coming down to the known issues after we look at the brightness and the flickering portions of the vp9 in the playback in the 5000 series. Now as we scroll down and see what changed in the list of broken, we look at the Project's Car 3 for as far as the mirror corruption in the VR. We looked at the free sync when enabled in the 5000 series and the configuration and display, which basically is telling you it's gonna spike on the FPS. It's no longer gonna do the disappearance screen, hopefully. On top of that, for as far as the enhanced sync may occur, for as far as black screens occurring and enabled, some screen configurations may experience the sync, just disable it, it's a temporary workaround. Performing the metrics overlay in the performance tuning tab incorrectly in the reported higher than expected idle clock for the 5700. Um, looking at the products past that for HDR on Windows, performing the task may cause some washed out saturation. Audio experiences for what happens to the receiving portion of the HDMI on the 5000 series. And then we look at some of the shutters that comes down to the gameplay within the 5000 series. So the 5000 series is kind of a little bit of a hot mess, but that brings us to our benchmarks, ladies and gentlemen, which is probably one of the more funner things. And I got some more exciting things for everyone. I broke down to a newer format, what we're gonna be looking at and digesting for as far as the scales of what has changed in driver to driver in the optimization. When looking at the graph of all the scores inputted, what we basically see is the current driver, the optional before we switch to the brand new one, so 20.8.3 kicks butt when it comes down to having the current Windows refresh, circumvent, everything built on top of it, it's very well performing. When you have the variable refresh rate or the ex advanced scheduling on for any of the hardware for the GPU, it is a tank on both DirectX 11 and 12. We're going to the 20.9.1, it's the reverse. We see the scoring where it actually improves and the basic idle score goes down, so the actual switch performs. Now, a lot of these scorings, what I basically happen to see on top of what was inside of Fire Strike from that to Ultra on top of Time Spy to the extreme portions, they were 
enough scores where it was very well noticeable within a few hundred points and i hope you guys and gals enjoyed the new graph if you want to see a little bit more of the old school graphs i can always mix those i just wanted to test that out to see how people like it i figure it's a little bit easier to digest why i talk about what ends up happening so basic diagnosis this week what should i do should i install the software well yeah it does kind of work really well decently so far and it fixes some good things and if you have your variable refresh rate or your advanced scheduling on you're not going to have an issue it's actually going to perform pretty decent if you have a 5000 series card well yeah you might have some issues but besides that it definitely seems like a lot of the software is performing as needed not as most optimal as i wanted or i've seen but i'll leave it at that if you're new to the network you can always subscribe it's absolutely free helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows maybe just maybe we'll see a dc movie that returns that's pretty good because the last few ones were like meh but moving past that Thank you very much for staying tuned, I appreciate your time, and for all the returning community members that have been utilizing those links, I very much appreciate it, especially with all the new technology that's coming out, if you're utilizing Amazon to purchase any of these lovely new tech toys, you can use those links down below, it doesn't have to be that piece of tech, as long as you portal in through there and utilize that and add that to your cart, it helps me out as a creator, but stay classy everyone, stay safe, and I look forward to doing an overclocking episode in a few mid patch notes for this to see what does improve because it seems like for surezies windows has a very very good running record of destroying a driver when it first hits but then tuning it towards the end so it's like you almost want to wait one driver behind and then you get kind of a really good optimal thing and for most people that are experiencing like a lot of issues where that doesn't work so if you've rolled back from 20.9.1 which is the new to the 20.8.3 which is the last one standard which worked pretty well with everything pretty much off but at the same time you can also go to the standard which is 20.4.2 all those you can find on amd's site and link down below you just got to basically type it in it should be there if not hit me up in a comment i can always give you a link but stay classy everyone and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future